that just want them to a dinner party. Maybe well, I, I'm not sure because doing. the Obamas have washed their hands, Oprah's washed her hands. Niall, isn't the issue here uh, that actually... Ingrid's right, they're talked about, but they're talked about for all of the wrong reasons. You know, they're talked about because they're either embarrassing, because they're lazy, they're work shy, they're ridiculous, they're divas. You know, just being talked about alone is not enough to actually build a career. Yeah, I, I, Dan, I there's think still the most contracts. Contracts. Still, Americans still, have... OK, Ernest, hold on, I'll let you come in after Niall. Yeah, most ordinary Americans have had enough of Harry and Meghan, uh, and... Uh, I would say there are, you know, a few sort of Hollywood elites who still cling to the Duke and Duchess of Sussex, but uh, the vast majority of American people, I think, view them as incredibly selfish, arrogant and narcissistic uh, individuals. Uh, and I, I do think that they are out of touch, I think, with ordinary Americans. They're also out of touch with ordinary British people. We have seen a spectacular decline and fall uh, for Meghan and Harry over the course of the last uh, two years or so, uh, a relentless uh, decline, actually, and a crumbling of their... Of Ernest, their you, want, kind of... you wanted to come back on that? Yeah, I think that what he's missing, as someone who lives in the United States, is that a lot of what you're saying is how they feel about the royals in general. And so there's no exemption. Most Americans, I think, collectively do not are not in favor of just the monarchy in general. And so a lot of what you're saying about narcissists, the arrogant, I think that carries on with, you know, Prince Philip and the rest of those, Prince Andrew, everybody over there. Don't bring Prince Philip into this. Possible. God rest his soul. Leave oh. him. Leave him to rest in peace. Ernest Owens, Niall Gardner, uh, Ingrid Seward. Uh, thank you all thank you. so much. But who do you agree with here? As Kelly Osborne launches a scathing attack on them, has America seen through Harry and Meghan? Well, from Diane on Twitter. Uh, yes, they have. A lot were fooled by the Oprah interview, but Ginge and Winge have been caught out on so many lies now. Their popularity in the States is plummeting from Oswald. I think the entire world has seen through them. Now, let's hope America isn't too harsh on them, though. <laughs> we don't want them coming back here. I think you're right on that. And from Aubrey, uh, the pattern is becoming more and more frequent. Where have all the celebrities gone who supported them two years ago? Do they know something we don't? Look, I don't think they know anything we don't. Aubrey, I think they know exactly what we know and they've decided to scarper. Your verdict now in 87% of you agree that America has seen through Harry and Meghan, just 13% of you say the country remains on board with the Duke and Duchess of Delusion. Susan Hall coming up, but time now for The Clash. And just days after Harry and Meghan were branded effing grifters by a Spotify boss when their £15 million flop cast was axed, the Montecito Moners have found themselves on the receiving end of yet another public attack that will leave the runaway royals bruised. This is the moment transatlantic TV star Kelly Osbourne let rip at Harry in a devastating takedown of his behaviour. I don't care what my son did. If I was getting crowned to be, he would sit in the very front row. Oh, I don't agree with that. I, I think Harry hear. should be, should have been sent back. I think Harry's a f***ing <laughs> <laughs> I do. I think he's a, I think he's a f***ing <laughs> He's a whining, whinging, complaining, woe is me. I'm the only one that's ever had mental problems. Like, my life was so hard. Everybody's f***ing life is hard yeah, you were true. the prince of that's a goddamn true. country who dressed up as a nazi and now you're trying to come back as the pope suck it <laughs> <laughs> no. no they always hold back the osbournes don't they uh, but as increasing numbers of people step forward to give their honest assessment of the sussexes has america finally seen through harry and megan what do you reckon down at gbnews.com vote in our poll at gb news on twitter about rolling up their sleeves for a royal rumble debate on this now is margaret thatcher's former aide niall gardner editor-in-chief of majesty magazine ingrid seward and the journalist and author, he has been a long-time supporter of Harry and Meghan, Ernest Owen. So, Niall Gardner, I mean, look, we've got the head of Spotify podcast saying they're effing grifters. Now this extraordinary rant from Kelly Osborne. Now, Kelly is ov obviously British, but she's lived in America for a very, very long time. She's a Hollywood fixture. So is the tide turning on Harry and Meghan in the US of A, Niall? 
Well, Dan, thanks very much for having me on the show here from uh, Washington, D.C. Um, and I, I fully agree, really, that the tide has turned against Sir Harry and Meghan in the United States. Increasingly, they are figures of derision and mocking uh, fun, frankly. Uh, and, and I think that uh, what you are seeing certainly is the Montecito empire crumbling in California. Uh, and Harry and Meghan are viewed, I think, by the vast majority of Americans as really narcissistic uh, whiners uh, who are hugely privileged individuals while lecturing uh, Americans about their own lives and also, of course, launching relentless attacks against the royal family from, from California. Uh, and so I, I do think uh, most Americans have just had enough of the uh, Harry and Meghan uh, circus. And they are viewed increasingly, uh, I think, as, as figures who uh, are basically immensely privileged, narcissistic, self-serving, and who really care nothing at all about Britain and America. Ernest Owen, so you've always defended Harry and Meghan, but can even you now see that this brand is crumbling, as Niall just said? No. Um, I think that what's happening is that there are people, companies, major companies that they'd sign deals with that are mad, right? And I think that they don't reflect the views of Americans no different than anybody else. I think what we're seeing here is that there are many companies that really want to cash in on the royal drama. And now that, you know, a lot of that interest has subsided, let's be clear, the interest in the drama around the royal family has subsided. But I think there are still a good, healthy amount of people that do like the, the Markle, um, Prince Harry relationship. And I think, to be honest, these corporations are, you know, ba are backlashing because they're not able to profit as much because there is some interest in maintaining but some Ernest, level of peace. But Ernest, isn't the reason that Spotify, for example, has dumped them because they are lazy swindlers? They were paid 20 million bucks and they delivered 13 episodes of a piss poor podcast. The podcast did well when it was out. I think the reality is, is that they've gotten busy. And I do think there is fair critique about the production, but at the end of the day, Spotify ought to be ashamed of themselves of spending that much money on them anyway. I think a lot of this is just people who really over projected and overestimated a lot of this going on for years and years. And I think that now that, you know, Harry has written his book and it seems like he would like to see some of this drama subside, the financial benefits from these companies that were trying to exploit the situation is now, you know, Know, hitting a rock bottom. I don't okay. think interest in Megan Harry is. I think the scandalous aspects of it that was exploited by these companies that should have never given them that much money to begin with um, is what is happening now. Well, they demanded that amount of money. Uh, Ingrid Seward, from a royalist perspective, who do you agree with here, Niall or Ernest? Yeah. Well, just to be annoying, I agree with them both, but I do think Ernest has got a really good point. There is a lot of people in America that love to have a bit of the glitter of Harry and Meghan. They don't really care if they are seen as, you know, as you know, Kelly Osborne said, obnoxious people. They don't. They just want to have a bit of the glamour of having this really high-profile couple who will probably the most talked about couple in the world. Not every day, but most, a lot of the time. Yeah, so for all the wrong reasons, Ingrid. For all the wrong reasons.